Hello my friends, I am back with a brand new tutorial after a few months of taking a break for creating YouTube videos and focusing more on my growth. So if you want to create incredible stuff with free stock images, check out this contest held by photomanipulation.com, follow the link from my video description to read all the rules about that contest. Since I already published this artwork on my Instagram account, I have a huge surprise for you in this video, because nobody ever saw the entire artwork. What I published so far was only half of it. Let's go! After searching a lot among the bundle files that uh, they were provided, I decided to go with uh, this picture for my background. I found this one really useful and I uh, took this part and uh, placed it uh, underneath the original one. So I added here, added a mask and I place it underneath the other one and to this one of course another mask and I mask the bottom area first I added a levels adjustment layer on the bottom one and on the top one the same levels uh, two times and for the top part I duplicated the first one and I drag it underneath and uh, I uh, press ctrl T to make it bigger uh, and after that I realized that the top area of the original one so this area was a bit uh, oval and uh, here the duplicated one was uh, straight I press ctrl T again and here you can see um, the warp modes and if you click on it and here on the warp you can use arch for example and uh, it will uh, warp it and we will need a negative warp because uh, as you can see from those guides it warp it on the other uh, way around and we need it to warp it down so we need a negative uh, bend so here I will use um, something like minus uh, 15 or 14 something like that and um, then hit ok and now if I drag this file it will uh, match much better the angles. The next step was to add some uh, atmospherical fog. So for that I selected the area that uh, is in front. So this area and I will add uh, the fog behind those uh, pillars. I'm going to create a new layer and uh, I will add a mask. If I have this layer selected and I'm taking a fog brush and I'm selecting a, a color um, from the background, let's say this grayish color, everything that I'm painting now, it will be painting uh, behind the pillars. So now I'm just uh, painting with a fog brush and I'm uh, switching between different uh, colors of uh, that uh, gray color and I'm just playing around to darken up and to uh, make that part really foggy. Now after I have finished to add uh, some fog you can do that by using a fog brush or to use some clouds or whatever method uh, that it's easy for you. Then I added a levels adjustment layer and I have darkened up the far area more. I added another levels where I have darkened up the sides like a vignette and now to have a better focus on that uh, area where I will place the dark angel I will need to emphasize that fog so I will add a new layer I will uh, fill it with black and I will set the blending mode to color dodge we take the brush tool and we start to paint with a white color and the flow around 10% you will see uh, that it will add a really interesting glow on that uh, area right and the next step was to add a color balance to have this bluish gray tone and now my background is complete and it looks really really nice from all those uh, photos offered for free I chose this picture so I looked again and I found uh, another posture of her I used her head from this picture and I place it on top of uh, the other one. From this one I used uh, her shoulders. 
and um, I have placed them here. And I found this guy, I took his hands. I know it sounds uh, scary, but uh, you got the point. I had to mask her hands. So for the bottom area of the dress, I found this uh, CGI picture and I placed it uh, on top of uh, the original dress. And from the original photo, I kept uh, those parts uh, from the dress. The hands were a bit distracting, so uh, I added a levels where I have darkened up them a lot. In the bundle, we had those wings provided, which are amazing. So I have um, placed them left and right. And then I had to make her float. And for that, I added a pop up warp. And I modified the dress position and she looks like she is floating now. If you don't know how to do this uh, puppet warp, let me quickly show you. Go to edit and here choose puppet warp. So first thing that I'm doing is to add some points that should remain fixed. Be assured that you click on the most important parts of her body that should remain in the same position. So after I clicked on a few points, I wanted to move this area because I wanted her to look like she's flying and the last thing that I did was to uh, paint some hair I painted uh, some hair behind her and some hair on top of her hair so I placed the angel behind the pillars on top and with levels I uh, made the bottom area a bit darker and then with an exposure I made the top area a bit uh, more brighter I did the same things with curves I have painted on the top area of the wings and her shoulders and arms to add more lights over there and at the end another exposure to add even more lights on the top area and if you watch my previous videos you know that I add my rim lights with uh, a linear dodge and I have painted with a white color on the sides of the wings and her arms and her hands please watch uh, this video because it's the most complete video that I have on how to do highlights, glows and all that shiny things. And now for the um, flames, the magic flames that uh, she is casting. I have uh, made like 100 tutorials with uh, this method that I know from Max Asabin with the gradient map. Not to make this tutorial so long, I'm just going to show you the start and then you have to practice it so you can master this method. First thing, you need to create a group and set that uh, group to screen. Inside that group, create a layer and fill it with the black color leave it like that then create a new layer leave it blank transparent and the third one is to create a gradient map and to speed out my workflow i have a few of them saved so uh, just copy those colors from black to white and then go back to that transparent uh, layer that blank layer take the brush tool and in my case for this type of uh, magic glow i'm using a hard round brush so with the hard round brush and the white color, I'm going to uh, draw some uh, lines, something like that. And I'm switching to the eraser tool and on the eraser with the same brush, I'm erasing some parts of the flame and I'm just repeating this prop process with uh, the eraser tool and the brush tool and that's it and then because i created this type of uh, magic on the layer with the angel i'm going to create some uh, reflection of this uh, reddish color so i'm going to create a new layer and again i am filling it with black and clip it inside the angel and i'm going to switch to the linear dodge then I'm going to select the brush tool and the sovereign brush, orange color, something like that, red orange color. And I'm going to paint or on her clothes and a bit on the wings where this color should uh, reflect the magic. And then after I do that, I double click on the layer and here on the blend if I'm holding alt and drag more the right slider to the right and now the light is reflected much better on my character i have painted more fog on top of her and now she 
is much better blended with the rest of the image. But this is just the first part of my artwork. This is what everybody has seen until now, but nobody saw the next step. So the next step is to add another character. So basically what I intended here was to have two opposite sides, one good and one evil. So first of all, um, I found this picture and I have uh, added uh, hue and saturation and I have modified uh, the dress color. So I selected uh, each hand separately. So uh, I have, uh, you know, played around with each arm, added a uh, hue saturation layer where on the reds I have decreased the saturation. Then with levels, I made her darker, another levels to darken up her hair because it was too much uh, light on her hair. And with exposure, I have added some lights on the shoulders and arms. And then using a hue and saturation again, I have uh, modified the color of her hair and I have made it red. And then with uh, my uh, method of doing the rim lights, I have painted with a reddish, uh, white reddish color on the arms and the body. And then I found these fairy wings on the starter kit on the bundle with all those photos that were offered for free. So first time when I imported the PNG file, it looked like that. And I have set the blending mode to soft light. Then to make the wings glow, I have added a color fill adjustment layer. So a solid color. And then this solid color, I have set it to color dodge. And the wings uh, have a bit of glow now inside them. Then I repeated the process and I have uh, painted with a more a brighter color. Uh, bluish white color and using that uh, magic method i have uh, manually painted on the sides of the wings so inside that uh, group with the um, gradient map and the base layer set to screen after you create a new layer for example and i'm taking the soft brush and uh, if i paint on the wings you will see that something really magic will happen so i'm painting be sure to paint with the white color. You see, something really nice happen and uh, it glows. And this looks really, really great. If you, uh, as I said, master this type of glow, it is not hard, but you need to practice to understand how it works. Then another uh, color fill set to color dodge where I have painted inside the wings with um, this uh, color, this bluish color and I have painted uh, some hair on top of her hair and now um, my other angel looks uh, complete also and I really love how the wings turn out at the end because they look transparent and they also have a color inside them and they look really really nice let's uh, press ctrl shift and i and then go to filter and here choose camera or filter so those are the settings that i have used on the basic uh, on detail a bit on color mixer and by using a hue and saturation i have modified uh, the blues i had decreased the saturation and lightness and now i love her wings more like that and for the final touches what i did was to add some rays if you look, I have added some uh, lines, some rays on top of everything, but the layer is set to color dodge. So this is really important. I create a new layer. I fill that uh, layer with a black color and I have, uh, I will set it to color dodge. And then if you take the brush tool and if you paint, let's say a stroke of light with a white color, so something like that, uh, if you look on the screen, uh, you'll see that um, the effect, the glow, it's really, really nice. And if you switch to the black color, you can paint again and uh, make that effect uh, go away. And uh, you can play around. It's really, really cool. Color Dodge is really powerful when we are talking about glows. Let me know in the comments if you miss my videos. And if you want to improve your Photoshop skills even more, check out those videos next. I am Mr. 23. See you next time.